Safe has 12,000 Durham invested in a bank account noted by the function shown below, where PN is the value of his in Durham's after n month. Safe debt modeled by the function QN equals 100N, where QN is the value of debt in Durham's after n month. So after n month, which function represents safe net worth, RN? So we need to find safe net worth. So we're going to see the given. So we have here 12,000 dirhams is the investing money. Then we can see here 100 N, which present the debt in dirhams. And we have N, which is the month, and PN, which is the money in the account. So to find the net worth, we're going to use the formula RN, which is the, the net worth. equals p n which is the money in the account minus q n which is the value of the so here we have we're going to write r n equals we can see here p n equals twelve thousand uh, bracket 1.002 to the power of n. So here we have the money on the account is 12,000 minus QN, which is, as we can see here, 100N. So we're going to see here 12,000 uh, bracket 1.002 to the power of N plus 100N, uh, it's no, because here minus. 12,000 dirhams bracket 1.002 to the power of n, yes, that's right, so it's going to be b. A rectangle is 3.79 meters wide and has a perimeter of 24.50. Which of the following is the length of the diagonal of, the, of this rectangle to the nearest tenth? So we, we need to find the diagonal. So to find the diagonal, first of all, we're going to draw a rectangle. So I draw a rectangle which has a white, which this is the white, 3.79. If this is 3.79, the other side will be the same. We don't know what the height is. So to find the diagonal, we need to find the height first. Okay, so we're going to write P equals the perimeter. P H plus wide plus H was which is the height plus W. Okay, so the perimeter is twenty four point fifty. We're going to write twenty four point fifty equals. So we don't know what the height is, so I'm going to put them together. So this height with this, so it's going to be equal to h. We know what the height is, which is three, uh, the y, they mean, 3.79 plus 3.79. And also, again, plus 3.79. Okay, I'm going to. 24.50 as the same equals 2h okay so 3.79 plus 3.79 will be equal to 
Okay, so 7.58. Okay, so now I need to leave 2H alone. So to leave 2H alone, I will move this, which is 7.58 to the other side. Okay, so it's going to be 24.50 minus. Why minus? Because I move it to the other side and the sign will change. 7.58 equals 2H. Okay, now 2H equals. 24.50 minus 7.58 will be equal to 16.92. And then I don't want to H, I want to leave H by itself. So I'm going to divide it by 2. So this number divide by 2 to leave H alone because I don't, I don't need to H, I need only H. So it's going H will be equal 8.46, which we have the height equals 8.46. So now we need to find the diagonal. So we find the height and we have the height. So we can find the diagonal, which is this one. So to find the diagonal, we're going to use Pythagoras rule, as we know that if we see like this. We're going to use Pythagoras rule. The Pythagoras rule says c squared equals a squared plus b squared. Okay, so instead of using a and b, we're going to use w and h because we have height and white. So c squared equals w squared plus h squared so the diagonal squared equals the white is 3.79 so 3.79 squared plus the height as we solve it before 8.46 squared. So I am using squared because we have here in the formula, it says squared. Okay, so equals 3.79 squared will be equal 14.36.41 plus 8.46 squared will be equal 71.5716. Okay, equals. So we're going to put this number in the calculator, then the answer will be 85.9357. And we're going to put it in square root because the, as we can see here, C squared, so C squared is the square root. So after finding the answer, we need to put in the square root. So, so 85.9357, we're going to put it in square root. Point nine 
three, five, seven. Okay. So after putting this in the calculator, we're going to have nine point equals. So diagonal equals nine point two seven. Two seven zero. Okay, so the seven will give the two one, so it's going to be equals two point three. I mean nine point three, which will be C. A triangle has length listed below. Which expression represent the perimeter and centimeter of the triangle? So, as we can see here, we have the length of the triangle. So, I draw a triangle and put the length on it, A, B, and C. The next step, we need to find the perimeter of the triangle. So, for doing that, I'm going to write P, which is perimeter A plus B plus C which is the formula of perimeter of the triangle. So next step, we have here A, so equals A, which is 5.5x plus 6.2y plus B, which is 4. 0.3x plus 8.3z. The last one, C, which is 1.6z minus 5.1y. So we can see that we have different terms. So we can't add different terms together. For example, we can't add x with y or z with y. It has to be x with x, y with y, z with z. So I have 5.5x, we'll add it with 4.3x, which will be 9.8x. Okay, the second one is 6.2y minus because the 5.1 has a minus so 5 uh, 6.2 y minus 5.1 y which will give us 1.1 y then the z so 8.8.3 z with 1.6 z will give us 9.2 9z. So, we'll, we'll, which will give us A. The answer will be A. Function f of x is given below. f of x equals x to the power of 3 plus 2x. What is the value of f of minus 2 plus 2f of minus 1? So to solve this, we're going to solve first the first one, then the second one, we're going to put them together. So first, let's solve the first one, which is f of minus 2 equals. We're going to replace each x with minus 2. So first, we have here x to the power of 3, so we're going to replace it with minus 2. So it's going to be minus 2 to the power of 3 plus 2 minus 2 equals so minus 2 to the power of 3 equals minus 8 plus 2 times minus 2 equals minus 4 minus 8 plus minus 4 will be equal to minus 12. 
Okay, now we solved the first one. Now let's go to the second. So f of minus 1. The same steps, but instead of putting minus 2, we're going to put minus 1. So minus 1 to the power of 3 plus 2 times minus 1 equals. So minus 1 to the power of 3 equals plus 2 times minus 1 will be equal to minus 2. So if we put this in the calculator, we're going to have minus 3. Okay, now as we can see here, f of minus 2 plus 2 f of minus uh, 1. So f of minus 2 is minus 12. I'm going to put it minus 12 plus. Here we have 2. So we're going to put it the same. Okay, uh, f of minus 1 equals minus 3. So minus 3. Okay, so I'm going to put minus 12. Okay, 2 times minus 3 will be equal to minus 6. So minus 12 minus 6 will be equal to minus so the answer will be b which function of x has the least values of y intercept okay so we need to find y intercept to find the least values which means the smallest number so we have to solve each one of these to find the smallest number so first let's go with the first one which is 2x minus 3 to find the y intercept here we're going to use m y equals mx plus b so b is the y intercept so 2x, which is mx, b is minus 3. So b equals minus 3 as the formula. We're going to go to the next one, which is minus 4x plus 15. So here, b equals 15. So how did I find 15? Because we, we need y-intercept, which means b, and here b. Okay, let's go to the other one. So here, we can see directly in the graph y, which here, y is minus 2. And here, y equals 2. Okay, now we're going to see the least number. So we have minus 3, 15, minus 2, and 2. The least number is minus 3, which is 